So we went vegan for the last 10 days and this is how it went. So recently we watched a documentary on TV about going vegan and some of the benefits that it has to do that. So... By the end of the documentary, we basically had challenged ourselves to go two weeks vegan. Yes. But two weeks ended up turning into ten days. Yeah, for yeah. various reasons. We probably picked <laughs> the worst... Time frame to start. ...or two weeks to start this because... It was so busy and there was so much going on. Yeah, we have a lot of events and things going on. Which so. was a blessing because it didn't make me think about food. Yeah. But it was also a disaster because we weren't, we didn't have enough time to really prep and prepare. Yeah, we just kind of, when we watched the documentary, we had just went grocery shopping. So we just said, okay, we'll do this next week once we have eaten all those foods. And uh, went to the grocery store. And then about two days in, we realized we have to cut it a little shorter. So this was a challenge that we wanted to go f go for. Uh, basically, it was a challenge for Wade. Yeah. It yeah. Was, it was definitely a challenge for me. So if you've been following us for a while, you could you've probably seen us eat before. I was vegetarian for almost a decade, and I went vegan throughout that vegetarianism a couple of times. It wasn't my favorite because I like dairy so much, but I definitely knew I could do it. Wade, on the other hand, eats the complete opposite of the way I eat. Yep. So I eat meat. He's a meat heavy with a little vegetable, and I like a lot of vegetables with a little meat. But for the past three years, I've been eating more and more meat, and I feel like I've eat a lot of meat. I'm more meat heavy than I used to be. I never thought I would be. <laughs> so... I thought this was a really good challenge for myself to get back into eating more plant-based with just a little extra, just a little meat. We didn't want, we didn't want to go full vegan forever, obviously, but God we thought know. it would, do what? I said, God no. <laughs> but we thought it would be a fun challenge, um, just for a reset, broaden Wade's horizon on eating a little bit cleaner. Less meat, less dairy, and uh, I think we accomplished that this week. So, so before we get into that, I want to show you guys the first week's haul um, of what we got and kind of what our meals were going to look like. All right, so we've got some whole wheat, nature, nature's own bread here. Um, Wade's going to be making a lot of peanut butter and banana sandwiches for the week. I may have some of those as well. We'll probably use this for that. Um, we've got Joseph's Flax Oat Bran and Whole Wheat Lager Spread. We really like this. Um, you can make all kinds of different things with it. And then we've got some sourdough bread. Um, it's like the best sourdough bread to get from Carter and it's fresh. Um, so good. So then Wade requested some red apples and we've got potatoes because a lot of the meals that we're making this week call for potatoes. And we've got some onions because we're about out of those. We've got celery, tons of broccoli, carrots, lemons, Brussels sprouts, avocados. We've got blueberries. I'm not really sure if they're going to be any good, but I've been craving them. So, And then the last time we got strawberries a couple weeks ago, they were so delicious and they look really good here. Um, we've got a variety of grapes. Ways love green grapes. We've got bananas, we've got some salad mix, um, romaine, jalapeno, and garlic. And uh, we've got tons of frozen veggies right there. So um, we keep these in our house, like all of these veggies in our house all the time. But we were running low and I wanted to make sure we had plenty. We add these. Some of these are just like for meals. Like I can make a good soup out of these things. And then also sides and you can just add it to your foods so i like to have frozen vegetables all the time um i haven't had chia seeds in a while i usually will add them to like um overnight oats so i was thinking about overnight oats this week i only had like one size of oats so that is what i went with <laughs> um and then we've got tons of canned chickpeas 
and uh, green beans, black beans, red beans. Got some olives here because we were running out. We've got coconut milk, um, crushed red tomatoes, and um, tomato paste. We were running out of tortillas, and I've got some seasonings that I've never bought before because we're going to be making something fun. Um, we've had before, but we've never made. So had to get these. And then um, I love the So Delicious brand, but I've never had this yogurt. So I only bought one because it was a little expensive, but um, I'm sure it's going to be really good. A lot of recipes call for rice. So I got a big thing of rice. We've got some peanuts and uh, just some pineapple juice and some apple juice that Wade likes. <laughs> Sorry me. And uh, we've got some coffee because we're running out of coffee. And then I've never had the Nut Pods uh, creamer, but I like coconut, as you can see. <laughs> and um, the ingredients looked the best out of what I had to choose from. So I'm going to try this because I have to have creamer in my coffee. And I usually use half and half. Hey, bud. Hey. Hey, buddy. You want to play? We also have our meals picked out for the week. We're just trying to keep it simple and light and uh, similar to what we normally eat. Um, just changing it up a little bit. Uh, we have tons of things, grab and go options, and I've pre-made a couple of breakfasts and meals um, for lunches and stuff, snacks for us to be able to grab for the next couple of days. I just don't like to pre-make too much. So this is just the first half of the week. And then throughout the week, as I have time, I'll just keep prepping. So the first couple of days, would you call those challenging days? Um, so maybe. It wasn't challenging in a sense of like, it was more anticipation, like the anticipation of the food that was going to be cooked because you kept asking me what I want. I kept saying potato, I mean potatoes, potatoes corn, and green beans, and lava beans, and all that stuff. I kind of laid out a meal plan like you just saw, and we didn't stick 100% to that, but we did do pretty close to that. So the first day we had red beans and rice. I cooked it the exact same way I normally cook it, except no sausage. I didn't put sausage in Wade's. Uh, or I didn't put sausage in either one of ours. He's the only one that eats the sausage. And I actually cooked his with onion. Yeah. So, um, he knew there was onion. After we had started eating, he realized there was onion. And you weren't bothered by it. No, I was hungry. I kept looking at you like, oh my gosh, he's not going to... I just didn't want him to starve. Um, I wanted him to learn to like some things that he would normally not eat. So I was really worried about the onion, but you actually had multiple meals with chopped onion in it this week. So that was really good. Um, the second meal was... <laughs> Tacos. Oh my gosh. I honestly thought you were not going to eat those because... So Wade had said that he did not want to try lentils he didn't want to have quinoa um and when he saw what i had made i had made black beans quinoa and corn in a mix with some seasonings i roasted broccoli and sweet potato um to add to our tacos so the mix was already made and it had everything in there so i was really worried you weren't worried you weren't going to eat it because when you walked in you said I thought I asked you not to make these mm -hmm. and he thought they were lentils um it was quinoa he wasn't really keen on trying it but he realized that it's just a texture thing yeah it's awful it's not did it taste awful no it didn't taste awful it just so he just said it like wasn't it. very flavorful um no. if you're used to eating a lot of meat I would I guess understand that <laughs> um but I thought it was really good and flavorful, so. It may have been better in something other than a soft shell taco. Yeah, it could have that been. it just wasn't. Honestly, and then if it was vegetarian and just had a little cheese, um, I think it might have been something you would be more willing to eat, so. But this was a vegan challenge, so no cheese. And I wasn't interested in doing fake meats and fake yeah. cheeses and whatnot, so we tried to stay strictly just plant-based um so yeah 
he ate the broccoli and he was absolutely against eating the roasted uh, sweet potato. Yeah, so. I don't like sweet potato. <laughs> do you know if you like sweet potato? Yeah, I do know. I've ate it with you before. It was <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> okay. So, um, the third night was a huge success, though. Yep. So, we had chicken tikka masala back in Epcot at Food and Wine Festival, and we really enjoyed it. The only downfall for this one... Our dog is breathing really heavy. He's too heavy. He's sleeping. Yeah. Um, so, this one, the only thing that was wrong with it, I feel like, and I could have made it better, was I could have made it spicier. So, it didn't have a good enough spice, but it had a great flavor. It was good. Yes, the base was really nice, and he ate chickpeas for the first time. So, that was a huge win. Um, later in the week, we had that again, and I made some vegan naan bread. So, or did we have that this week? I think that Saturday. was, the, yeah, okay, so it was Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, so it was still in this week. So um, everything kind of like is going like together. Like I said, it was yeah. a busy two Yeah, two busy, weeks. yeah, it was almost two full weeks and it was just super busy. But yeah, so we ended up making some vegan naan bread and that was really cool. Um, tried a vegan so delicious yogurt. That was really good. Um, what other things did we have that week? Well, for my lunch, it all it consisted of peanut butter and banana sandwiches, <laughs> which I eat all the time. It is a very simple meal, and but and then my breakfast, Samantha made me some overnight oats with yes. peanut butter and bananas, which were pretty good. Yeah, so he had yeah. chia seeds for the first time. He had overnight oats for the first time. Um, no, that's not the first. Wasn't time. was it not the first time? No, you the had first those? time I tried yours and it was blue. Okay, so he's had. I don't like yogurt. He tried the overnight oats where I like to make with the Sigus yogurt. Um, it's just oats and yogurt and then plant based milk and then some fruit, and then I like the yogurt part. So I left the yogurt out, added the chia seeds, and I think it was a good success. So. Yeah. Um, that was mainly your breakfast. Uh, I had a lot of avocado toast, peanut butter banana on toast, um, veggies on my avocado toast. Had a lot of that for lunch and dinner, or lunch and breakfast. Uh, and then, I don't remember what we had for the rest of the week. Um, there was one night that we did actually have corn on the cob. With llama beans. Potatoes. Potatoes. And that was a win. Um, we had that same meal except with green beans another night, I think. Uh, lunch. Lunch. Monday. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, so the second week's haul, um, was a little bit smaller because we still had some foods left over from the first week. So I'll insert that here. So last week we was really counting on having hummus, um, for like snacks with the veggies and stuff. Um, so I forgot this, we've got this, so we can definitely make some hummus. I'm probably gonna make some in a little bit. And then we ran out of flour, so I bought some just to replenish that. I'm gonna be making mochi this week uh, for my brother's birthday. So this will be the first time I ever make mochi, but we needed some ice cream, so this is not vegan ice cream. But um, our challenge ends in the middle of this week and uh, most of the mochi is vegan. I'm not really sure if I'll use vegan ice cream, but I did not buy any. I'm going to use this for most of it since it's not really for us. So I bought some more of this coconut milk yogurt because it was really good. So we used it to make the naan breads yesterday. So I bought some more just in case we wanted to make some naan breads. Um, and then there was something else I needed this for. So I bought two just in case. I really liked it though. We've got bread, we've got peppers because we need some peppers for some dishes that we're making. We've got broccoli, we've got avocados, we've got more lettuce, garlic. I'm making white bean soup later this week, so I need some squash for that. We needed some grapes, so we loaded up on those. That should be plenty for the week. Um, making strawberry mochi, so I wanted to make sure I had enough strawberries for fresh strawberries and the mochi, so we've got that. And then we needed tons of bananas, so I got tons of bananas, cucumbers, and really that's all we needed. Okay, so for the second week, we had red beans and rice again on Sunday. Monday was kind of a free-for-all because we had an event to go to. They fed us, but we just had a baked potato that was basically all we could yeah, eat. Yeah, well, the only thing that we could eat. We came home and kind of ate some snacky foods. Yeah, peanut um, butter and crackers. 
So then Tuesday, mm -hmm. we had uh, pasta. pasta. I was really excited about this one. It was a roasted red pepper pasta. So I had roasted the peppers uh, over the weekend and all I had to do was saute onion and garlic, put that in the blender and I swear it was the simplest. It had a little coconut milk in it and some olive oil and that stuff was, and some seasonings as well. But that was like the best easy pasta. It was good. And we ate all of it. We didn't even pair anything with it. We were just. No, and it was. I, it I was had crazy long, night. <laughs> I had a long day at work and got home late. By the time I had finished making it, I was like, well, I didn't add anything to it. Why do you want to eat a salad? I would have ate a salad, but the pasta filled me up that I didn't even need a salad. Um, yeah. That is another thing that I know I've had throughout the past two weeks is I've eaten several salads. Last night, um, Wade was working late, so I ended up making a white bean soup, which has tons of veggies and whatnot in there. And it was just a really good way um, to end our 10 days of veganism. Mm -hmm. Um, but I will add that I haven't stopped. So I feel like it's really benefiting me the way I feel. Um, I definitely will end up adding a little dairy and meat back into my diet. I just eat chicken typically. So a little bit of that, but I want to go a little bit more heavily on the way that we've been eating the past two weeks. It's made me feel really good. And, um, my skin has been clearing up a little bit better. So I just feel like it's just something I want to do for a little bit longer of term. Yeah, I, I think we're, like she said, we're not going to go full on, but we are out of seven meals, maybe three one week, maybe four one yeah, week. Yeah, so like a lot of our home dinner, we eat a lot of dinners at home anyways. We don't order out or go out often, um, but when we do, we, we don't want to feel like we're obligated to eat vegan. I've went down that route before and it honestly just makes you feel like you have very little options and you end up not really eating healthy if the options aren't something you would eat so i really don't feel like veganism or vegetarianism solely is something that we want to do but it was a really good way to jump start eating a little bit healthier we tried so many things the past two weeks or the past 10 days um and i think he's going to continue to try new things i had a lot of hummus i forgot the first week i left out one main ingredient to make hummus and i ended up getting it for that second grocery haul and it has been fire the past couple mm -hmm. of days eating hummus um i had yet to let wade try it but he's gonna try that he already said he would um i hope he likes it but yeah so i feel like this is just something that will broaden the way that we eat a little bit healthier make better decisions because we definitely have gotten to a more unhealthy way of eating. So, and I feel like 10 days is a real good way to jumpstart a healthier eating diet. Um, honestly, I could go 30, 60 days and I think it would really benefit me. Uh, Wade's not, he's already, oh, he also, we haven't had any sodas for the past 10 days. Up until yesterday, Wade had a Dr. Pepper. Yep. He had his first Dr. Pepper. Um, so we felt like that was a good, we wanted to do this for health reasons. So obviously Dr. Pepper, I would assume is vegan. Uh, we didn't check, but. It's what the doctor ordered. <laughs> but sodas definitely could be eliminated as well. Dr. Pepper from Winchester Fieldville. <laughs> Leave a Name that baby. That yeah. um, goodness, Remy. But yeah, so I thought this was a fun challenge. Uh, something that I knew, like I said, I could do, but I wasn't 100% sure Wade could do it. I don't think it would be good for him long term just because he's not open to trying a lot of foods, but it did help him broaden his horizons palette. and his palate. And I feel like it will make a healthier and happier me Wade. So thank you guys for following along. If you have done this challenge or if you are interested in doing this challenge for 10 days or even possibly more, uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments. If you have any food suggestions that you think Wade should try. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
<laughs> or even me. Um, let us know in the comments as well. That is it. We will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.